Hey everybody, Kevin Purcell, GottaBeMobile.com, and I've got the Pebble smartwatch connected to my iPhone. I wanted to show you the new Pebble app that uh, is just releasing. Now what I'm showing you is actually a beta version, but they're launching uh, the official version on January the 28th. It's uh, going to coincide with the release. They're going to begin shipping uh, either today or very soon the new Pebble Steel. But this new app offers something that the previous uh, apps for the Pebble didn't have, and that is the Pebble App Store. Now, when you open it up, it'll help you connect to your watch and kind of show you the interface uh, with a little bit of a tutorial. But the app basically has four sections. Now, there's a support section down here, and they haven't quite finished it all yet, but uh, I want to show you these three main sections. First of all, there's the Pebble App Store. That's the most exciting part of this new app, and it takes a little while when you're on a slow connection like I've got right now. But the App Store gives you an interface where at the top there's sort of a, a rotating view of recent apps. In this section you get the six categories of apps that you can buy, or not buy, but rather uh, download. Some of them are for purchase, I think. And then down here we have um, some of the more interesting apps that uh, go with the phone, these are suggested apps. But when you look at these, uh, you got daily. The daily section is for apps that might uh, offer you like a daily quote, those kinds of things. We'll go back. Here you have tools and utilities. For example, when it loads, uh, we got different utilities like a battery thing and uh, a dice app and that kind of thing, little utilities that uh, can work on the phone. Notice it's got two tabs here. The hearts tabs, that's sorting them by the number of hearts they receive. Hearts are like stars, you know, the more you get, the better the app. Or release date. So this lets you look at what's the most recent uh, new app that's come out. And then across here at the top, it's not really showing uh, the uh, suggested apps. But as I said, this is a beta version. You'll get a, a more polished final version if you download it. We also have uh, notifications, remotes, fitness, and games. Let's go in to look at some of the games real quickly. All right, so game of four cross and a worm game and Sudoku, just kind of a lots of fun and little interesting games. To pers personally, I'm not going to be playing a whole lot of games on my. Uh, Pebble smartwatch. Uh, I like it for other purposes. But uh, anyway, you can see what it does. I, I won't go into too much detail. You can check out the games for yourself if you're interested. Now, here's where you get watch faces. A watch face is a way to customize the look of the Pebble smartwatch. This is a really nice one that I've got installed. Notice it gives you the time really large and uh, the day and date below it. Uh, it gives you a little symbol to show you what kind of weather and the current temperature in your area. And of course you set that up with the app on the the phone and then it sends the information over here. Look at all these different watch faces that you get. There's things that look more traditional. You know that kind of looks like just a basic uh, uh, digital watch face. You know that you might have seen when you wore a digital watch back in the 80s or something. <laughs> Let's see if we can go back. Uh, to these very unique and different looking ones. There's quite a collection of them, and as I looked through all of them, I really just liked that one, and so that's the kind of, that's the one I picked. Now when you go into the My Pebble section, what it will do is it will show you all of the apps that you have currently installed. Uh, on release, they're partnering with four different companies to offer special apps. One of them is a GoPro app, I don't have that installed, but they've got a, a, a Yelp app, an ESPN Sports Center app, and Foursquare. So let's kind of show you what some of those do here. Um, to get to them, you hit this center button here on the side, and then you scroll through the installed apps by hitting the down button, notifications, alarms, watch faces, settings. There we go, four square. So I can now hit this and loading nearby, and it'll show me the nearby places 
For example, High Peak Baptist Church, I'm the pastor there and I live right next door. If I wanted to check in, then I could just tap on the side here and that would check me in. So you can check in without even having to open your your the app on the phone. Open up the ESPN app and that gives you uh, scores. For example, it shows the uh, Pro Bowl score from last night. I'm making this video the day after it. Yelp, you can go in here and uh, look for things, restaurants, nightlife, uh, coffee and tea. You see all the different categories you would find normally in Yelp. And then I have this. It's a daily um, quotation from the Bible. That's that timer repeat app. Load that thing up and it gives you a timer. Uh, you can either raise the timer and then start it and it'll buzz your wrist. This is I found that to be something interesting because uh, I do a lot of public speaking and so I could set the timer cert for say uh, 30 minutes and it would buzz telling me hey it's time to shut up. All in all the, uh, the, the app along with the Pebble smartwatch makes a great combination. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the Pebble Steel which I will be very soon. Uh, I'll go in here and just show you quickly the support section. Uh, if you can see that, it's kind of hard on the screen there. We'll... All right, so we can see it's got FAQ, getting started up there, community, uh, contact support, suggest something, test notifications. See, that's, uh, for example, I can send a sample text message, sample phone call. I really like the uh, Pebble. Uh, when I first reviewed it, when I got this, uh, uh, the black version of the Kickstarter, I was a little un unimpressed at the time because I was using it with iOS and there weren't that many apps. But I have to say that it has greatly improved. Uh, for, of course, on the Android side, it was much better. But with this app launching today, uh, the experience on the iOS, <coughs> iPhone and such is a, a lot better. And I think people will be... Uh, enjoying it much more, especially with the new watches that look a, little, a lot more fashionable. But this has been Kevin Purcell for Gotta Be Mobile with the uh, Pebble smartwatch and the new Pebble app, including the Pebble App Store. Thanks for watching.